Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All of us at Epcot Center are glad to have you as our guests today. We welcome you and hope you find your day with us to be a most enjoyable one. Walt Disney was a dreamer and a doer, a man who cared about the world and its problems. He believed that people could develop solutions to problems if equipped with information, technology, and opportunity. Epcot Center has been created to showcase prototype concepts and technologies that may someday serve people everywhere. This is the essence of Epcot Center, a collective endeavor by people for people in the hope for a better world. From all of us of the Disney family, we hope you enjoy your stay in Epcot Center. And now we ask for your safety and those around you that you walk slowly and carefully to your first destination. Have a great day and welcome to the 21st century. Uncharted seas of the future. 
Let us dare to fulfill our destiny. GBC reports, auto sequence complete with position hold. Can you switch to manual payload? No problem. Manual payload is activated. Signal for command execution. Roger, are you getting video? Affirmative. Delta camera is on and tracking. in our ability to record and share knowledge. So let's journey back 40,000 years to the dawn of recorded history. We'll trace the path of communications from its earliest beginnings to the promise of the future. system of 
roads, a long-distance network to carry laws and tidings over a far-reaching empire. Glorious Rome falls victim to the flames of excess. Ages of knowledge are lost or forgotten in the ashes. But all is not lost, for Islamic and Jewish scholars continue to preserve ancient wisdom in noble libraries. In their travels, they record knowledge and share their findings with cultures east and west. In western abbeys, monks toil endlessly, transcribing ancient writings into hand-penned books of revelation. brings a wondrous new machine, the printing press. Now books and authors flourish as never before. The Renaissance, a time of renewed interest in the worlds of poetry and music, science, philosophy, and art. Behold the majesty of the Sistine Ceiling. On this wave of inspiration, we sail into a bold new era, an age of astounding inventions and ever-increasing progress in communications. With electronic communications, we can send messages instantly over long distances. Signals and voices crisscross the nation. Radio and movies inform and entertain millions. One moment. Television brings the world into our homes, profoundly changing our perceptions of life itself. Instant communications create an ever-increasing flow of facts and figures. To manage this growing storehouse of information, we invent the computer, a revolutionary tool made practical by the tiny transistor. and share information. And we're creating a vast electronic network stretching from our homes to the reaches of space. of information, a time of new promise and new hope for ourselves and Spaceship Earth.
our search for understanding is unbounded by space and time. Centuries of information stand ready to reach us in an instant. Our link with the past, our hope for the future. our knowledge and tools of communication will continue to grow and improve. We'll discover new ways to share our ideas and dreams, to create a better world for today, tomorrow, and tomorrow's child. Build a world to
and my work piles up and I'll see you in red Cause I need five arms and an extra head I find the computer becomes me troubleshooter He keeps miles and miles of facts on file My wish is his command And that's why I'm a router for me computer Everybody needs a Welcome to the second part of Backstage Magic. Just a reminder, please, to refrain from smoking and the use of flash photography. Now let's rejoin Julie and Io. Hello again. In this part of the show, we're going to take you backstage to have a look behind the scenes at the computers working their magic in the 43 square miles of Walt Disney World. In fact, if you're one of the many who phoned ahead for a reservation with us, then you've already been in touch with one of our computers. This is CRO, our central reservation office. Here, thousands of requests for hotel accommodations and resort activities are received each day. Hello, Walt Disney World? This is the Bunyan family. We'd like a reservation for the evening show at Pioneer Hall. Wait, this is Wu Xian Shen. I want to Walt Disney World. These reservations are input into our central reservation computers for processing. Although 3,000 miles exist between these computers and our reservations terminals, the confirmation process takes just a few seconds. Over at the Magic Kingdom, all the magic is not above ground. Located here beneath the Magic Kingdom is a room full of computers. These computers help us operate all the shows and attractions upstairs. When Space Mountain was launched in Tomorrowland, computers joined Mission Control to monitor the ride system. Sensors in the track monitor the location of every vehicle and constantly update the computer on your progress through the ride. But not all our show vehicles ride on tracks. Here in Epcot's Energy Pavilion, Onboard computers are piloting each car along a trackless path with a guidance signal broadcast from a wire in the floor. Computers also assist with food service in our restaurants. For example, orders taken here are then sent instantly to the kitchen, helping us serve you more quickly. Throughout Walt Disney World, computers are standing watch with fire protection and security systems as well as lending a hand in energy management. This is our central energy control room, where computers constantly monitor all of our utility requirements and help to efficiently operate all of our temperature control, lighting, and other energy systems. Over at the Walt Disney World Phone Company, computerized switching and fiber optic transmissions are helping to place your calls. Here at Epcot Center, computers help control a video communications network. The World Key Information System outputs video disk programs about Epcot Center, as well as providing additional information of any type through person-to-person touchscreen communication. Oh, hi, Julie. Can I help you? Hi, Barb. Have you seen I.O. lately? No, but we can check his address. Well, great. Well, let's give it a try. Okay. I'll key it in. I.O. I.O., I'm ready to go to Epcot Computer Central now. Thanks for the speedy response, I.O., but our guests need to see the room, too. What you're seeing is the electronic part of Epcot Center. In this one room are all the computers that run and monitor every show in Future World and World Showcase. I know if you could find me a spotlight, I'd like to give these folks the, oh, short tour of Epcot Computer Central. Over here is our animation console, 
All of our audio animatronic performers are programmed with these. Well, that's how they learn their script. I hope. Let's see an example. Meet Mr. Eggs, star of the Land of Billions Kitchen Cabaret. I.O. can move Mr. Eggs through a computer by using the knobs and buttons of the console. Hold it, I.O. Let's follow the script. Turn Mr. Eggs around. Blink his eyes. Now flash his excellent smile. Yes, sir! You see, we can rehearse the actor until we get just the right performance. Thank you, Mr. Eggs. You too, Io. Now let's look at the overhead screens again. We'll be able to get a closer view at what happens next. When all show programming is complete, the magnetic tapes containing the animation cues, along with lighting, special effects, and other stage cues, are transferred by computer to a single magnetic disc. This information is then input into the memory of the show control unit. At the touch of a single button, it's all started. An entire performance. An electronic clock synchronizes the show's program with the soundtrack. 24 tracks of music, dialogue, and sound effects. All this is then output to backstage computers at each show to create the total performance. From a simple character like Mr. Eggs, to the American Adventures Ben Franklin, one of the most complex figures ever built, computers play a starring role in bringing over 700 characters to life here at Epcot Center. And behind the scenes, Computers constantly monitor some 7,000 show elements, ensuring that all show mechanics run properly and safely. All across Epcot Center, backstage computers are our electronic stagehands. Using a variety of sensors, they keep a constant eye on each and every performance. What they see is then processed into data and input directly here to Central. This information is then assembled into a continuous status report by Max. Monitoring and Control System. Max operates day and night, alerting the technician here immediately of any problems. All this helps keep our shows rolling. Now I'd like you to meet another very special computer system, the Electronic Stage Manager for Epcot's Live Entertainment. I.O. The bridge, please. Thanks, I.O. 
meet X. Entertainment Control System. Let's take a look at the screens above for a closer view. What you're looking at is the video touchscreen here on the console. We use this to talk to X. By simply touching the screen, the system can control some of the hidden ways we use to light our traveling entertainment. X also perfectly synchronizes the soundtracks with our special events. Not only are computers helping guests hear us, they're letting us hear our guests. You may have met Smart One, our first voice recognizing robot. He understands civil speech, utilizing computer technology, and talks back to you. Let's go! Over at the Epcot Pole, we put computer technology to work in another new way. This electronic opinion poll is made possible by computers that listen to what you have to say about today's leading issues. As the audience inputs its votes, they are processed by computers right here in Epcot Central. Almost immediately, the audience's opinions are analyzed and reported back to them in easy-to-read video graphics. Well, as you can see, Epcot Computer Central is in many ways really kind of an electronic symphony. With X, and Max, and all the other systems, we are able to orchestrate the magic of Epcot Center for you. Uplifting, huh? Speaking of uplifting, I.O. How about transporting us back to our office now? Thanks, I.O. That sure cuts down on travel time. Well, I sure hope you folks have enjoyed your brief tour of Epcot Computer Central. Not quite the end, I.O. First, I'd like to ask our computers to help us just one more time. Let's bring up the lights, open the exit doors to your right, and close the curtains. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for visiting Epcot Central. Say goodbye, I.O. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder about our 10 o'clock illumination show, spectacular laser light, our lungs and waterworks show. That's 10 p.m. around World Showcase Lagoon. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.